After watching The Burning three times now, it's easy to see why it gets lumped into the slasher elite category for being one of the absolute best. It has multiple cast members who have went on to plenty of success with their individual careers, fantastically gory kills that were put together by none other than the horror wizard himself, Tom Savini, as well as some light-hearted 80s fun to be the shell that keeps everything together until it can't contain itself any longer. The burning sets everything in a nice, bright, sunny atmosphere, which invites its potential audience into the Blackfoot summer camp where the grisly slaughter of the legendary Cropsey takes place. Kids will be kids as there is also plenty of guys trying to get some from the girls, and that does happen on a couple of occasions with complete nudity in one case, as well as Jason Alexander's character delivering adult magazines to a couple of the other guys in his cabin, as well as trying to sell a baggie of condoms to the camp asshole Glazer. How do you do, boys? How are you doing? Whoa! Yeah, you doing? He's under, he's up. Sorry. He's in there. All right. Who ordered the uh, Playboy? Over here. Dave, did you, you get my Hustler? Uh, All right. Hustler? What are you out with Hustler Woodstock? You're too small. Hey, size never stopped, Woody. That's the world bantamweight jerk-off champ over there, huh? Just stick with me, kid. Keep flexing the muscle, huh? Oh, God bless her mom and dad. Mm -hmm. You guys are a real bunch of wimps, you know that? Looking at girly magazines. You guys make me sick. You ought to try the real thing sometimes, man. Let me tell you that. Ooh, we make you sick, do we, huh, Glazer? Well, then you won't mind paying the new market price for a bag of rubbers. Five bucks. I'll pay. You get me what I asked for? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, huh? Absolutely shit, man. Look, I asked for lubricated rubbers. These aren't lubricated rubbers, you understand hey, that? What am I, Masters and Johnson? You want lubes, buy your own. All right, I'll buy my own. Well, let me tell you something, pal. I ain't paying for these. You got that? I got that. <laughs> if 80s horror or slashers are your thing, zits and zombies, there is plenty of aggressive joy to be had with sitting through the burning. The Burning does have some similarities to the original Friday the 13th, especially since that was released a whole year before this, but I personally think The Burning is better because it contains plenty of gore alongside more gore, but I also feel that the pacing is just a tad better and it flips the trope of having a final girl to Albert being the final guy. Also, Savini turned down working on the second Friday the 13th movie so he can do the effects and makeup for this instead. So of course the burning is ultimately better. How could it not be? Even though they didn't intend on burning Cropsy to death, at least what they used to scare him looked cool. I'm glad I'm not hungry at the moment if Cropsy looks like a Big Mac. Uh, yeah, it's fine, right? <laughs> when you seen what I seen, you soon change your mind. Hey, listen, after two months of working here, you're going to feel like an old man. Guys like you won't last five minutes. Listen, hey, I listen, you got a minute? No, I'm I, I want to show you something I... down the hall. After you see this guy, you'll never want to come back in here again. Man, this guy's burned so bad, he's cooked a fucking Big Mac overdone. You know what I mean? I ain't never getting Mickey D's ever again. Corky Burger? That's a hat trick with three burger jokes in a row. Oh, Costanza, what humble beginnings. Look at that ass. See that? Oh, yeah. I want it. I want it. I mean, you don't gotta wrap it. You don't gotta send it. I take it home now, as is. Uh, you're crazy, man. That's a no sale. Hey, that's mine by divine right. Hey, divine this. That's prime meat. You ain't buying it. <laughs> so is this girl's name Tiger because she's wearing a shirt with a tiger on it? Uh, the creativity for this was through the roof. Tiger! Just stop it! Sophie, don't encourage her. I really like it. But every time I think he's serious and I really start to get into him, he blows it. I've had it, so... Oh, Tiger, stop that! He's a guy and guys want to see boobs, so I agree with Todd. Allie, what is it? Hold it, hold it. Where are you going, huh? 
Come here. Come on. You are sick, you know that. You are really sick. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Alfred's been prowling around the girl's shower. Karen, take Sally up here, okay? Just take it easy for a while, honey. What do you have to say about that, Alfred? I only meant to scare her. You only meant to scare her? Well, you sure as hell did scare her. Okay, okay. Eddie, take him up to the rec room. Okay? Hey, come on, will you? I'll talk with him. You'll talk with him. I will talk with him. He's a sexual pervert. What do you expect me to do? Cut his balls off? But he's weird, Todd. What the hell was he doing snooping around here? Just a kid. Kids do that. Did you do that? Glazer is a tool. Look out where you're going, punk. You know how to break your legs, huh? I'd like me to twist your head off. Now, I'm going to tell you just one time. You stay away from my girl. You understand that? Huh? Well, what are you staring at, you little fucking weirdo, huh? Look, I'm warning you. If I even catch you looking at her, I'm gonna tear you up so bad, your own mother won't recognize you. You dig? Blazer, what's your problem? Oh, no problem, Todd. No problem. All right, get out of here. Understand? And remember, it's a long summer. A little jerk gives me the creeps. This right here is just good old 80s fun. Hey, uh... Dave, are you sure you want me to go through with this? Alfred, this is about to be the greatest moment in your life. There'll be four commands. Ready, aim, fire, and run. The clays is gonna go crazy. Shit. Ready. Aim. Park him. So, uh, you girls all set for the trip tomorrow? Nothing I can get you? Life jacket? Spermicide? Oh! Hey, you gotta be prepared. You know what I mean, huh? Camp slashers always have an urban legend. Harvey Weinstein really put a part of himself in this flick, didn't he? Don't fight it. Don't fight it. <laughs> Eddie. Come on, you're going to start that again now? Cut out. Why'd you come out here then? You come! Get the fuck out of my face. Dude, Glazer, just give up already. You gotta do. Glazer. What's the matter, huh? Just coal your engines. Huh? Come on, we're meant to be looking for wood. Yeah, right. Glazer, no! Good. Shh. You're something, ain't you? 
and no one ever listens. Hey, Sally? Sorry it took so long, babe. Hey, Sally? Hey, what's the matter? You playing hide and seek, huh? There are an abundance of camp slashers or otherwise out there to view these days, and the burning really does sit towards the very top. A horror buff has no reason not to pick up the loaded Blu-ray release that Scream Factory has provided the collecting scene with, especially if you're trying to track down every slasher ever put into print, or if you're just wanting to get everything that has to do with Savini himself. I normally don't say this, but I kind of wish there actually was a sequel. It's not possible with how the film ended, but it still would have been fun regardless if it was put together properly. Zits and Zombies, if you are a diehard slasher or 80s horror fanatic, there is no possible way you could go wrong with adding the burning to your shelf. I think I'm going to go get myself a quarter pounder for lunch. Those have always been better than Big Macs anyway.